Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 9 French medium tank, the AMX-30. The AMX-30 is one of the newer lines of the French tech tree and it leads to the AMX-30B in Tier 10. I'm really starting to enjoy this tank, I've had some great games in it. Now that it's fully upgraded, when it's stock it is a little bit iffy at times, the armour is, is dreadful and even when it's fully loaded the armour isn't that reliable so it's not the kind of tank that you want to rely on to bounce shots from the enemy players. I'm in one of my favourite Rat Pack platoons with Noddy and John from Balls and this is one of my last Balls platoon games. I've left the Balls clan, more about that on a different video. We're on Himmelsdorf and Noddy and myself, Noddy and his E75, me and my AMX-30 are going for the hill. There's not a great deal of tanks coming with us but you can look on the map, our tanks are reasonably well positioned elsewhere on the map. John's going up the western flank to try and light some tanks up on the railroad. And I get myself into a little bit of a forward position on the hill, but I can't see anything yet. I'm going to wait for backup. I'm not going to push forward. I'm just going to see if I can get any cheap shots down near the square in the centre of the map. I can't really see anyone yet, but I'm not going to be pushing forward because there's that... T-54 E1, I think it is, or the T-54. I don't want to be taking him on by myself until my backup arrives. Noddy's talking to me in team speak, as is John, and Noddy's just saying, wait for me, Shuey, I'm coming up the hill. I'm in an E-75. The E-75 is not the fastest tank in the world, but it's certainly one of the best T-9 tanks. I really can enjoy it. So I'm poking around, having a look at this T-54 E1, the American Autoloader at Tier 9. They can do a heap of damage to me if it really wants to brawl with me. We're comfortably winning, 3-2. John's just taken out one of their artilleries, the GW Tiger, the Tier 9. And I'm looking at the map thinking, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to push the hill at the moment, I'm going to wait for some backup because I am on my own. Not he's on his way, and unfortunately I take some damage from the Conqueror and I bounce him. Which is just what happens. So I'm looking at what's on the hill. There's quite a number of tanks there. I'm going to take some cheap shots here. The Jag Tiger, which is down there, which I'm just going to put in a lazy 394 damage into him. He's taking shots at us up on the hill. We don't want him to be damaging us too much. I know my reload's better than his, so I put in another 398 damage. So I'm already close to 800 damage just by a couple of cheap shots into that Jag Tiger. Looks like he's struggling. He really doesn't know where he can go, or, or he knows where he can go, but he's struggling to find some cover from where I am, so I'm using the fast reload on my tank to uh, try and take him out. Statistically, he is one of the better players on the enemy side, so it's probably not a bad ploy to try and take him out, or at least get him down. But I haven't got a shot at him now, so I'll get another cheap shot into the T-37. But now it's time to help my friends on the hill. Noddy's still on full health. We're comfortably winning at 6-2. A lot of that thanks to John. He's already racked up four kills in his little light tank, the WZ-132, the tier 8 Chinese light tank. Not his tracked and he's talking to me again. Again, I bounce a Conqueror. Unfortunately, that's what happens. A Conqueror is a pretty good gun. It can pull off a pretty good tank. It can pull off some pretty good bounces, but I certainly don't bounce that last shot. So lo looking at the scoreboard, we're comfortably winning 9-2. However, all the enemy tanks, or just a, bit, a lot of the enemy tanks, the heavier ones, are all with us. And it looks like it's just me and Noddy doing the, you know, holding off these tanks. We want to get as many kills as we can, obviously. There's a Conqueror behind us. A Comet behind us, sorry. But of course, he's not going to push. He's only a little tier 7. So while Noddy's keeping... The 112 and the 112 busy at those rocks, as well as the Conqueror. I'm going to flank around and get some more cheap shots into the sides of these tanks. The Conqueror is never going to bounce from that angle, from behind. Not he takes out the Conqueror, which is probably our biggest damage. And the Super Pershing now is is, is fixated on trying to take Noddy on in his E75. So I'm just going to keep putting shots into his rear and side, as well as that 112. Noddy's still got a comfortable amount of health. He's on half health, so he's, he can afford to take some shots. The Comet 
lights. The 1 1 2 on fire. And I'll take out the last tank. Always satisfying to take out the last tank in a game. And we comfortably win in the end 15 to 3. And we move on to the post game battle results with the photo of the three of us on the bottom right hand side of the screen. You can see I've picked up the high calibre medal because I did do a fair bit of damage as you'll see on the next page. 2652 experience for my double as well as the fire for effect medal which you seem to get every game. And moving on to the second page of the post game battle results unbeknown to Noddy and myself while we were up on the hill concentrating on what we were doing. John picked up seven kills and rightly deserved his top experience and Top Gun medal, 1,082 base experience. That's not with his double, that's his base experience score. Top Gun medal, 2,210 damage in a light tank at tier 8 in a in a tier 9 game. That's awesome. And also, you can see I did my 4,000 damage there, which gave me my high caliber. And Noddy had 2,200 damage in his E75 with a couple of kills. And did a massive job on top of the hill holding off all those other tanks there was quite a lot of tanks on top of the hill and Noddy did an awesome job holding them back they uh, obviously if, if he didn't they would have overrun me and, and the other tanks behind us the Comet and, and the smaller medium tanks that were helping us from behind as usual it's always an awesome laugh platooning with these two guys I look forward to doing it again in the future I hope you've enjoyed this replay stay tuned for more replays coming this week as well as some big news about my new clan moving on to the final page uh, you can see it was a healthy profit of 30,000 credits for me doing my 4,000 damage it was only a quick game less than 5 minutes for the game 4,000 damage 13 shots hit 11 penetrated so only 2 bounces or 1 might have been a miss and a good healthy profit and a good healthy game Thanks for watching everyone, take care, there'll be more replays, even though we're no longer in balls, there'll be more replays with featuring Noddy, John, Tugboat, Mustang and all the old gang. Thanks for watching, take care everyone, bye for now.